semi-final from ANZ Stadium in Sydney. It's the boys from Southport, Kibra Park, taking on uh, one of the strong Sydney schoolboy sides, Endeavour Sports High. There they are in the black. This is going to be some game of rugby league. The winner to take on Matraville Sports High in the final of the Arrival Live Cup. Here's the fact sheet for Endeavour Sports High. The school opened in 1997. Over 900 students. Some big victories on the way here. And champions, 2004, 2005, 2006. Strong school. And let's have a look at their team on paper. Gillies is the fullback. Some big wingers there too. Matai Tonga and the number five, Zach Rasmussen. Wishart and Rococo in the centres. Nicholas is the 5'8 and also the captain of this side. Manuma Laley comes into half. Watch him go and a big pack of forwards to Ella Tafuga. The second rowers, Leilua and Lakini Purcell. Up front, Jaime Talisau. He's a monster. Arsin and the hooker is Cameron King. Let's have a look at the bench as well for this side. Capel Tubbs in the 16 is Spencer and Jarden comes into the side. Tyler Jarden in 18. Their coach is David Howlett. These are fact sheets of Cooper Park. The school opened in 1973. Over 700 students. I was there for this victory over Kerwin State and Townsville. Very impressive. Some, some, some big performances in this game. And look at the record. Runners up in 2005, 2006 against this school and Denver High School. And let's have a look at their side. Keep your eyes on the fullback, Jordan Carr, who he is also the captain. Wells and also Gage Napier on the wingers. Akawala and Boynton are your centres. White is the 5'8". Torir comes into the side in number seven. Connor Torir is the uh, halfback. Barty, Parsi and Murdoch. And the front row, Kotuwaka and Louie. And the hooker for Kibra is number nine, Beto. On the bench, Kai, a famous name in number 14. Regan Ropati. Ferrero and number 16, big Brandon Targo, and their coach is the very experienced Greg Lenton. And this should be some game of rugby league. The Arrival Live Cup second semi final. Here comes Kibra Park out onto ANZ Stadium. Been to a couple of finals, yet to win one. There's plenty of experience in this side. They're a big pack, big outside backs, and big forwards as well. Keep your eyes on a couple of these players, like this one. Number one, the captain. Jordan Carr, who the experts say he will play first grade in the NRL within two years. Look out for him. Historically, one of the strongest sides in the Arrival Live Cup. It's the boys in black from the south of Sydney, Endeavour Sports High. Plenty of supporters on hand to watch them go around here this afternoon at ANZ Stadium. Lots and lots of success in Arrival Live Cup and other competitions for schoolboy rugby league and you want to keep your eyes on this guy in the headgear number nine Cameron King he's a St George Illawarra Dragons under 20s player he's quick out of dummy half he's got a good kick on him and he is plenty strong watch him in defense as well and the referee is John Stone we are underway for this second semi-final it's a warm warm day here in Sydney as well and that's a horror start for the boys from Endeavour we are going to have a goal line dropout and the boys from Kibra Park, who can attack beautifully, Joey, will go straight on the attack. Well, what a start. Kibra Park coming to this game with the underdogs. That's the start they wanted. Can't believe this ball went dead, but a shonky kickoff hits the ground. And the ball goes dead. Kibra Park get the first opportunity to put points on the board. It's a big kick. It goes 50 metres back to Ia, drops it backwards. Has to go back and get it by the time he picks it up. He knocks it on. It's a mistake a thon in the second semi final. We will scrum it down 10 metres inside the territory of Kibra Park. Yeah, up nervous. Here, nervous up start here. by both two. Hey, hey. They both look up, very nervous. Going to settle down and play some football. Unfortunately, the ball goes over Barty's head here. And he can hear some footsteps. Well, all we've seen so far is a uh, goal line dropout from a ball gone dead, a knock on. Now we're about to see Manu Malele feed the scrum for the Endeavour boys. It goes out to Nicholas. Manu Malele on the run around. The defence is good. Three of them in the tackle, led by Jordan Kahu. They pull him down just inside the territory of Kibra Park on tackle one. The boys in black, Endeavour with the ball, taking it forward once again. And again, good defence there from uh, the big... Uh, uh, Fotowaka from the Kiba Park side. Cameron King with the ball. Have a keep your eyes on this guy, uh, Jaime Talisau. The opposition sides call. Well, they call him the Taraga because every time he takes off, he's got four or five players on board trying to bring him down. First penalty of the match. It goes the way of Endeavour, Joe. He is a giant, Talisau, and looks mobile for a big guy. Here he goes again. 
Well, I don't think probably in the 34-year, 35-year history of uh, of, uh, of the schoolboy comp we've ever seen a player bigger than this kid. Jaime Talisau, good offload to the Cameron King, takes it toward the centre of the field and uh, held up there by Isaac Louie. Ten metres out from the Kebra line, centre field. Uh, options both sides of the field at the moment. Gillies, he gets a pass away to Leilua. And now they're only five metres out. The Endeavour boys on the attack. King in a dummy half once again. Short side now from Anuma Lely. Can he get the ball down? Good defence from Kibra to stop him. He would only be two metres out. King at dummy half. Long set of field pass back to Nicholas. He gets it away to Gillies. Gillies looks for his options out wide. Gets it on the Wishart. Wishart taken by Boynt. Can he get the ball away? And again, the defence drives him back toward the 10 metre line. Good defence again. The boys from Endeavour. Tackle number five says the referee. Endeavour on the attack. And King in a dummy half once again. Comes back for Nicholas. The big cross field bomb. Going to be too big, I think. Dead on the full. So uh, that time round, Kibra Park out of jail. Outstanding defence by Kibra Park. They showed all sorts of defensive structures there. They come up, they shut it off. They slid in defence. And they scramble. Outstanding defence. That'll do their confidence wonders. Endeavour wait until they tap the ball. Go. And there we go. Beto takes the tap this time. First time really that we've seen Kibra with the ball in their hands. Masese Fatuaka is pulled down. About 25 metres out from his own line. And his partner in crime now, Isaac Louie, takes it forward. Good run from Isaac. About 10 short of the halfway line for Kibra Park. Beto in a dummy half once again. The ball is with White. Good pass out wide there, but good defence from Purcell. And Kibra, quick play the ball. Beto, out wide we go to White once again. Then on to Boynton. Boynton's broken the open. He's got Wells with him, but he can't get the pass away. And he'll play it now 20 metres out from the Endeavour line. End to end at this stage. Kibra Park with the ball. And once again, they go forward there through the number 12, Big Benny Murdoch. Tackle number five says referee Stone. Out it comes for White to put a better kick in, but I think this one's going to find... Oh! That keeper park play, did he get there? No. Ball has gone dead. Great kick by Denny White. He's had a good start to the game. He was outstanding last time I, I watched him in Townsville. Unfortunately, the ball bounces there. An opportunity there to pass he. But they look sharp, Cooper Park. Uh, Sim with the ball. He's uh, first touch, I would think, up toward the 30-metre line. Still nil all. Of course, the winner goes into the final. There is a bad mistake there from Zach Rasmussen, who's come in looking for a run and dropped the ball, put his team under all sorts of pressure. And Tuella Tafuga pulled down for Kibra. He's knocked it on as well. Joe, so many mistakes early on. Well, big game. I think both of these teams are very nervous. There's been a big build-up to this game. I think the first team that settles down and, and gets through their sets and, and settles into the game will win, will win this game. It's just been riddled with errors to start the game. But. Head in. Head in. And 20 metres out from the Endeavour line, they will feed the scrum through their captain, Nicholas, who gets the ball away for Rasmussen. Hangs onto it this time and gets up to play it back. Endeavour in possession of the ball. That, that looked marginal to me, that pass. Leilua is pulled down in some good keeper defence. King in a dummy half once again. Another penalty goes the way of the Endeavour, about 15 their own side of halfway. You. They get their opportunity now from a set start. Teams like to attack from penalties, from tap starts. They get an opportunity to put a, a set on. Now, granted the fact that Kibra have never won the Arrival Live Cup, both of these sides and the side they will play in the final all have an excellent history in Arrival Live Cup finals football. They are always there or thereabouts. Played by Talisau and back for Rococo to uh, take it forward on his own. Good strong run. 30 metres out in centre field. There is the Endeavour coach, David Howlett. Very experienced man in this position, great leader and very respected in the Sutherland Shire. As Arsin plays it back to Cameron King. Short side he goes for Nicholas. They work that side once again. The ball is with Wishart. Wishart strong, getting out of tackles. Up the wall, the try line he goes. Strong Wishart. Well, they've got him by one leg, at half a dozen of them. Wells pulls him up in the end. King short side. Can he get over the line? No, he can't. Again, good scrambling defence from Kibra. Tackle five says referee Stone. Back it comes again for Nicholas. Along the line for Manuma Lely. And then it comes out for Leilua. Leilua, Leilua. There might be a hint of a shepherd there. There was a shepherd. And the penalty goes the way of Kibra. Yeah, frantic pace. But Kibra Park, once again, their defensive structure is outstanding. They're, they're nominating on the edge. They're taking the right players. They frustrated the Endeavour school there into an error. 
So By now, the look of it, this cane's going to get into the wire. And there is the keeper coach, Greg Lenton. Good association with this school. That ball doesn't oh. go out. The boys from Southport have made a terrible error. And uh, Endeavour are back there to clean it up. This is Gillies. Don't give him space. He will go right through. Beto takes him on and pulls him down smack bang in the middle of ANZ Stadium. Warm afternoon for Rugby League as Rasmussen takes it forward for Endeavour. About 12 metres inside their territory. Asin is the player with the ball. Taken by Barty, who hung on and looked strong. King out of dummy half once again for Nicholas. And now this is Purcell. Once again, we find Endeavour about 20 metres out from the keeper line and the keeper side doing their best. As Joey pointed out, the defence has been absolutely outstanding so far. Big Jaime Talisau away for Arsene. And then Manuma Lely. He's cut him open. He gets a good ball away to Leilua, but it's come loose and cleaned up by a Endeavour player. And the referee says that'll be six again. Out of dummy half they go. It comes out to Rococo. Can he get over the line? They've driven him over the sideline. So again, Joe, great defence from Keeper Park. Yeah, probably not the option to go down the short side there from Rococo. But once again, Keeper Park, the defence, the scramble defence. You see Rococo gets the ball, comes to the line. Look at the numbers. Four Keeper Park players there. The desperation they're showing. Outstanding. And uh, back to the, uh, Endeavor, Endeavor the, the 20 metre line we go. How often do we see it though where a team that is defending for five or six sets early in the game then turns around and puts the first try on? Well, Kebra Park certainly have it in them. Louis gets up to play it back. Beto out of dummy half. Now for mine, number 13, Tuella Tafaga might have been a touch offside there for Endeavour, but he's got away with it. Comes out once again now for Fotowaka. And just still his own side of halfway. Beto out of dummy half. Now once again, beautiful running there. He's gone straight through Torea. He looks for his set apart. Torea, he's taken beautifully by Gillies. Great tackle. About 15 metres out from the Endeavour line. Then Kahu out to the number three who's going to burst his way over. Can he get the ball down? Akawala, I think you will find, has gone right under the post. What did I just say, Joe? They've tackled all game and they've scored a try. One length of the field of the Well, against the run of play. Kubra Park have gone 100 metres and scored Akawala from dummy half, but it was set up by the halfback. Toe ear, changed the point of attack, showed and go, got through. Done the right thing, took the tackle, didn't push the pass. Then from the, the next play, Aquila just took the line on with size and strength and gets the first try. Jordan Kahu is the fullback and captain. Already done the deal with West Tigers for his football career. And he puts it straight between the posts. So the second semi-final, Kebra Park 6, Endeavour Sports 0. Stay behind Endeavour. Time your run. Time it. And we get underway again through Cameron King. Shortish kickoff taken on the full by Wells. The little winger who's been forced to do a whole heap of defence early in this game. And will play it about 25 metres out from his own line. It's Up with Wells' last game, Baron. He was outstanding. He scored several tries. I understand he signed up with the Roosters. It's real speed. So if he gets an opportunity on the right wing, watch this young guy run. Okay, that's uh, Fotowaka with the ball now, getting up to play it back to Beto. And Beto's ducked under a couple of tackles. One of them, Cameron King, not many get by him. And Beto will play at centre field to Toia, and then back for White to kick. Waits this one quite well. This one's probably going to pull up in the end goal, or will it go dead? Just. So Gillies will bring it back for the 20 metre restart. And the Endeavour boys go on the attack once again. It's unfortunate there. The ball went dead from Denny White, but right idea, kick early. Turn this big endeavour pack around. And we've got a replacement player on the number 15 is Joel Tubbs, who uh, 
played pretty much a full game in that uh, game in North Queensland a couple of weeks ago. Rasmussen out of dummy half. Straight and hard. Gets plenty of ball out of dummy half, Zach Rasmussen. 12 short of halfway, he is pulled down. King out of dummy half. Gets away from one. Gets away from two. Looks to offload. Now, you give this kid an inch, he'll take a mile. He's zippy out of dummy half. Manu Malayli now having good, a run. Good. And again, pulled down by a very busy Ignatius Passi for the Kibra Park side. Across to Manu Malayli once again. Then for Rococo. Rococo taken. Can he offload the ball? Standing there. That he's finally pulled down. Just in the field of play, 15 metres, Kibra Park side of halfway. Manu Malayli puts a kick in. It looked a little clumsy. Taken by Toia on the full. And Kibra Park go on the attack once again. The ball comes out to this winger we were talking about earlier, Wells. Anare Wells. And uh, taken in some good defence there from Purcell. Now this is Boynton for Kibra Park. Looking a little tired now, some of those Endeavour players. Taking a while to get back on side. And White once again gets a good pass away. I like that play there from Cooper Park. Danny Walsh, Danny White coming across the ruck, changing the point of attack. That's how you attack a big, a big team like Endeavour. Here he's down there, sideline. Well, he gets the pass back in field of play, but he's got it back to an Endeavour player. And the boys in black find themselves 10 metres inside Kibra territory. And once again, it's Rasmussen having a run. Having a look at that on the replay, he just managed to stay in the field of play. Tuella Tafega was there to clean up for the Endeavour boys. This is Purcell, much like uh, David Uwe from uh, Matraville. It just stands out there on the edges and breaks tackles. Now Nicholas across for Manu Malayli. It comes out now for Leilua and then for Rococo. Rococo's taken. Can he stay in the field of play? Can he offload? He won't be able to offload. He still he does offload. Proves me wrong. Comes back for Leilua once again. He gets a clumsy pass away to M Manu Malayli. And then it comes out once again for Tubbs. And Tubbs has got to piggyback a couple of them up toward the five metre line. This is looking very dangerous for Kiebra Park at the moment. They have been rock solid in defence so far. King... Long ball back for Nicholas, and then it comes out for Tuella Tafega. He looks for his winger, finds the centre in Wishart, and we have the boys in black from Endeavour on the board. A try to the number three, Tom Wishart. Well, points had to come for Endeavour. Unfortunately, an error by Kubra Park, and Ari Walsh tried to get on the outside, push the pass inside, which gave him down a field position. And eventually, they've had that much ball, yet yeah, they had to score. You see here the show and go, pokes his nose through, and then the offload through the line. To wish up. Nice try to endeavour. They strike back. Both the goal kickers today are the captains on goal kicking duty. This is number six, John Nicholas for Endeavour. Moves in from the sideline, strikes it okay too, hits the bar, and waved away. No change to the score in the second semi final. It's Kibra Park, the boys from Southport six, Endeavour Sports four in the Arrival Live Cup. Stay behind, guys. 14. 14. Straight up on the play the balls, eh? Not, not spinning around. Hold <laughs> behind! And away we go again. Second semi final at ANZ Stadium. Warm weather for rugby league here in Sydney. Spencer with the ball for the Endeavour side. Of course, the winner goes on to take on Matraville Sports High in the final. They will have their hands full when they do that. Tubbs with the ball now for Endeavour. Up toward the halfway he goes, Ropati comes across and wrestles him to the ground. And have a look at that once again. That was a big impact. That was a brute big hit. And a penalty goes the way of Endeavour, about 10 metres inside their own area. And remember, don't uh, to uh, have a look at all the results and fixtures if you follow the Arrival Live Cup. Check out the website. It's the only one to go to. You can watch all the games online. Arrivealive.com.au. Check it out if you're following these great young sides in the Arrival Live Cup. Tough. 
Lewis charges forward for the Endeavour side. 28 metres out from Keeper's line. Is there a try in them here? King out of dummy half once again. Goes one way, looks the other. They're set up long. Look for the wide running back, low, Lalua. Here it comes now for Spencer. Spencer takes the defence on. Four of them pull him down. About 15 out centre field. Still standing deep now, Joe toward the right, but they go left this time for Nicholas. Gets a pass away there to Purcell, he reaches out. Momentum carried him across, I'm sure. And it's a try to Lakini Purcell, all of a sudden. Endeavour lead the game, few minutes out from half time. Yeah, they've opened the game up. Once again, a penalty, piggyback the Endeavour side down with field position, and it was just strong running on the edge of the right. Lakini Purcell, showed and go, got through. Too strong there for the 5'8", Denny White. But I like the way they set up. Get to the middle of the field. Give them options either side. And play to the fringes with their strong back rowers. John Nicholas, big boy for a 5'8". None from one today. He's uh, about 20 metres back and 10 in from touch. John Nicholas, the captain of the Endeavour Sports High side. This to put them... A clear four points in front. That one looks better. This one's going to sail right between the sticks for Johnny Nicholas. And the Endeavour Sports High boys move further ahead. Endeavour 10, Kebra Park 6. It's the second semi-final of the Arrival Live Cup. And we get underway again through White. And kick off. Uh, going to pull up about 10 metres out from the line there. Easy pick up for Tubbs to take it off Gillies and then take it forward. All of a sudden... A couple of holes starting to appear in this keeper defence. And Nicholas and Cameron King are all clapping, inspiring these Endeavour boys on. They're already only 15 short of halfway, Joe. Yeah, you wonder how much juice was, was taken out of the tank early on. And they defended their line for the first, it seemed like, 10 minutes. Uh, we've got Tyler Jarden on the field. This is Manuma Laley. And out now for Leilua, who's been dangerous this side all day. Gets out of one, gets out of two. Straightens up again and goes again. Strong, athletic. Jesus. King out of dummy half once again. Tackle five, says the referee. This is Manu Malali. What have they got on here? Nicholas with the ball. The captain holds off and gets a pass back to Gillies. It looked like it might have gone forward. Manu Malali for Jarden. Back to Manu Malali, and eventually the ball comes loose. And Kibra Park pick it up about 18 out from there. Outstanding right skill shown by Nicholas. Dummy the kick and had the ball in one hand. Threw the ball on the inside. Rolled the dice to run the ball in the last play. Unfortunately, there was an error, but that looks sharp, Endeavour. Look at this. Dummies to kick ball in one hand, the no-look pass. Outstanding skill. Now, Keeper Park, trailing the game by four. This is White. He gets a good ball away, and one of the big fellas has gone through. I think you'll find it's RC. And it, can he, he's going to go all the way and score a try. He's going to go right under the post. Well, somebody made a feeble end. Uh, attempt to tackle him right at the very end there. The number 12 has scored Murdoch, big Benny Murdoch for Kebra Park, right under the post. It came out of nothing again, Joe, a Kebra Park try. But it was a change the attack, change the point of attack. Denny White, you've seen him do this a few times. The dummy half comes out. Denny White goes the other side, moving his big endeavour pack around. And look at this guy, big Benny Murdoch. Dummy through. <laughs> Wind up, big boy. Look at him go. Blowing the big fella, look at him. Outstanding. <laughs> one from one already today for Jordan Kahu, the captain of this Kibra Park side. And if he puts this over, they'll go to the break with a two-point lead. Moves in, hits it sweetly. There is the halftime siren in the background. Halftime in the second semi-final of the Arrival Live Cup. It's Kibra Park 12, Endeavour Sports 10.
And referee John Stone gets us underway for the second half of this game. Wells and Keaton Park went out did well to keep that ball in the field of play. Strange kickoff. That was a torpedo short kickoff. Torpedo kickoff. Looked to me like it was heading out on the full. <laughs> However, Keeper Park with the ball. Up they go in toward Endeavour Territory through Beto. He'll get up and play it back now. And Parsi moves into dummy half. Across to White. Oh, great defence there from Cameron King and also Leilua. Joey's been wrapping Leilua all day, and there he is in defence. Now once again, Beto gets the pass away to Parsi. And uh, referee says he's dropped the ball, so Endeavour will get the feed 20 out from their own line. Still anyone's game this one. Here is Gillies, the Endeavour fullback. And uh, pulled out about 30 out from his own line. Wishard in the dummy half for the Endeavour side. And up toward the halfway line. Ten short before he's pulled down there by Barty. Also white in the tackle. This is Cameron King. Got a pass away. Player not expecting it there. Tyler Jarden made inclusion into this side. King out of dummy half once again. And the pass comes back infield to uh, Tubbs. He'll get up and play it back. He's a monster of a boy too. It comes across now for Nicholas to get it away to Manuma Laley. Takes them on on his own, but Beto has got him and pulls him down on tackle five. Manuma Laley, it's a good sign for a half pack. He takes the ball to the line. Not afraid to get tackled. Tackle five option sees Keeper Park with the ball. Around about 15 metres out from their own line. Tyler Jarden comes across and also Purcell to uh, make the tackle. And now out of dummy half, this is Wells. King right around the ankles to pull him down. They're 20 out. Keeper Park, they lead the game by two. And if you've just joined us, the winner to play Matraville Sports High in the final of the Arrival Live Cup. Anybody's game at this stage of the affair. As Parsi takes it forward and pulled down by his opposite number. Out of dummy half, they go once again through Torquia. And then it comes out to Isaac Louis. Smack bang in the middle of ANZ Stadium on tackle five, says referee Stone. Across for White to put a kick in. Gillies fell over his own two feet, but manages to get back there and scoop it up on tackle one and bring it back into a safer part of the, of the field. Pull down about 20 metres in, in, in field. Great play, Danny White. The big kick downfield and led the chase. Inspirational play by the Cooper Park 5-8. Makes another tackle there. And that tackle is made on uh, Rasmus and a winger who often goes looking for the ball. Arsin now takes it forward. You can't miss him with that crew cut. Cameron King in a dummy half and back it goes to the captain Nicholas who kicks it over the head of the fullback car who he's going to have to chase but this kick's only going to be as good as the chase that comes with it and it's pretty good. I don't think he'll be caught in the field of uh, he'll be caught in the in goal area. Now beautiful chase by the kicker Nicholas who got there first to pull uh, Kahu down right around the ankles. That's how games are won. Early kicks and big chases. Now they're going to defend. And they've lifted. And this Cameron King involved in so much defence. You would have seen him in that uh, game up in North Queensland. Put a big hit on somebody. He went on report. But fair dick him. He nearly put the opposition player in hospital. He's just got such strength for uh, a hooker. Much like uh, Isaac Luke, who I'm told is one of his idols from the NRL. And Keeper Park with the ball. They go the short side once again. This is Torquia. He split him open, Torquia. He's got support with him. He's only got the fullback to beat. He gets a pass away. Might have been forward. Referee says it's okay. Or did he go? No, it's going to be a try to Kibra Park. Beautifully done. The number 17 has scored. That is, of course, Gage Napier. But beautiful lead-up work there, Joey, from Torquia. Torquia, a mirror image of, of Ben Murdoch's try in the first half. Changing the point of attack. Moving the endeavour forward pack around. The ball's played and they swing it to the short side and Tuia, show and go. Gets in the clear, gets his tongue out. He celebrates early and double pumps. I think I'm with you there, Maroon. I think the ball might have floated forward, but the try's awarded. But Cooper Park changing the point of attack, moving this big endeavour pack around. A lot of success. And here he is, the player that uh, Joey said he'd like to see more of, the captain, Jordan Kahu. Missed that one though, and so that's good news for Endeavour. They are still only a converted try behind. Second semi finally, the Arrival Live Cup, Keeper Park 16. The boys from the south of Sydney, Endeavour Sports on 10.
And Cameron King gets us underway again. Endeavour trail by six. Keeper Park have come out in the second half. All guns are blazing. And this is uh, Benny Murdoch. Already got one try today. Pulled down about uh, 28 out from his own line. Keeper Park. And once again, oh, this is Kahu. Kahu gets out of a tackle. And finally, they come at him again. Yeah, he needs more of that, Kahu. The ball's not going to him, so he's got to go looking for it. Get in a dummy half. Do some dirty stuff. By golly, there's been some big hits in this second half of this game. Look for Purcell and also uh, the player Tubbs in number 15 for Endeavour. This is White with the ball. Trips on his own two feet. Easy pickings for Leilua, who pulls him down just inside the territory of Endeavour Sports. And now they go once again. Number 16 is on the field. Targo, big Brendan Targo. Tackle five, says referee Stone. Out a dummy half. It comes across for Torea to put a kick in. Rasmussen will let it go into touch. And the game will recommence with a scrum. Endeavour to get the feet. Yeah, smart kick. Puts the ball out. Slows the tempo of the game down. Gives his forwards a rest in this hot conditions. Toya sees there. Knew what he was up to. Just rolls the ball into touch. So uh, a couple of replacements coming on the field. I can see big Jaime Talisau getting warmed up to come on for Endeavour. There he is, the big fella. He has a couple of chickens and chips for a... Uh, Half time, recharges and gets ready to go back out. And Endeavour with the ball. As they work it out from their own there, this is Arsin. Runs into Ropati. Could have picked his target a little bit better. Barty around the legs and Cameron King in a dummy half this time. For Tubbs to take it forward again. Ropati aggressively involved in the defence. And a couple of those keeper players might have been a touch offside for mine. Nevertheless, the fullback has the ball. This is Gillies. And uh, taken by Targo and pulled down about 10 metres the Endeavour side of halfway. They didn't try. As uh, the number 13, Suela Tafuga, is pulled down just his own side of halfway on tackle five. Cameron King might have a trick up his sleeve. Puts a kick in down toward the wing of Wells. And once again, they need a good chase on this, but I feel it's going to be too big. And it rolls over the dead, so gives some of these big forwards the chance to uh, suck some air in. And get ready to defend for a couple of for another set of six. Just uh, saw the coach there on the screen there, Joey. David Howlett, what does he say to these Endeavour boys? They, they had a glut of possession early in the game. They're six behind, but there's still plenty of time on the clock. Yeah, I, I think they're going okay. They're kicking early in the tackle care, trying to get field position. They just need Kubra Park to make an error. And every time they've got down, especially late in the heart a little they're going to score but I think they're travelling okay now Kibra Park the maroon and the sky blue they've been in the uh, final of the Arrival Live Cup twice come away with nothing so far that is a massive massive great defence there from Endeavour 4 or 5 in that tackle it comes back now for White look to kick and then pull down now it's tackle 5 so uh, it comes out across for Toia to kick down toward the fullback Gillies. Not much pressure. Rasmussen will pick this up and have a bit of time to get out, but throws the, the risky pass to Gillies, who makes it back into the field of play, and then coughs it up for nobody. Ball comes loose and Endeavour back there to clean it up. Outstanding kick. I think the kick was from Kahu, and it found the ground. Outstanding kick. And a great chase. Unfortunately, the error there, the ball was ruled to go backwards. Now, once again, Rococo for Endeavour. The boys in black trailing by six. And uh, Barty involved in the tackle again. Rapati involved in the tackle in the jumper number 14. Cameron King out of dummy half. Gets around the Rapati tackle. It's been sharp at a dummy half, King. He looks the player most likely. And we've got uh, Capel on the field. Fresh legs in the number 14 for the Endeavour side on tackle number five. Cameron King, you've put the you put the hex on him, Joe. He's knocked it on. Sorry, Cameron. <laughs> Sorry, Cameron. Sorry, mate. He's been outstanding today, Cameron King. Defensively so strong. See, so he just takes the eyes off the ball, unfortunately. Sorry, mate. He is a dragon of the future. And he just needs to get over that one and get back in the defensive line. Keeper Park. The ball comes out to nobody. Ro Park, he's not there. The ball's come loose. Who wants it? It's eventually picked up and scooted out to this winger, Wells, who's got a little bit of room to move, Wells. Can he step inside the fullback? He can, but he trips over and he's pulled down about 10 metres out from the Endeavour line. This is passage of play I've seen in a long time there. Wells, the ball comes back in field now. And once again involved in the defence there is big Talisau. Number nine is Beto for Kedra Park. 
And here is the captain, Kahu, now stepping into the dummy half position. Got it away to Fatawaka. Can he get the ball down? He must be only a millimetre out from the Endeavour line. Once again, Kahu in a dummy half. Throws a pass. It's come loose and picked up now by uh, Isaac Louis. But uh, they'll play the knock on Endeavour out of jail that time. Yeah, right idea. Unfortunately, the ball goes behind there from the pass from Kahu. But the idea was right. Beautiful flick pass here. I thought he was in. Now he's gone the short side. You would have thought he was crazy, Wishart, but he's still going. How did he find room up there, Joe? Mm, great vision there by Wishart. What a tackle from Kahu. Unfortunately, gives the no, penalty you're away. Pushing down with your head. Wishart Get out of there. steals 40 metres down a narrow short side. Well, that might be a game changer, Joey, but it's one of those things where if he goes out, everyone says he shouldn't have gone the short side. But by golly, he was right up. It was like Jared Hayne in that oh, State of Origin match. Oh, Gets the penalty, and all of a sudden, Endeavour go on the attack. 25 out from uh, Kibra's line. Been impressive with Wishart today. He's a strong ball runner. He carries the ball very strong. This is Talisau, 15 metres out. The biggest kid I have ever seen in Arrival Live Cup football. Nicholas gets a pass across the line to Capel. Fresh legs taken by Rapati. It was like David and Goliath there. Once again, King in a dummy half. Manuma Laley. It goes out wide there to uh, Wishart. I think you'll find it's Rasmussen who's pulled out. About five metres out from uh, Kibra's line. It is Rasmussen. Cameron King sends it back in field to Manuma Laley. Then it comes across for Nicholas. Nicholas gets a pass away to Leilua. Leilua. Leilua's going to be pulled out. Two inches out from Keeper's line at a dummy half on tackle number five. Back for Nicholas. Manuma Laley with the ball. And then out toward the winger of Rasmussen. He's going to be caught on tackle number five. It's actually Michael Kai who's come onto the field. Started on the bench in the number five, did Michael Kai. Very experienced player in the Endeavour side, but just couldn't get it over the line. Desperation by Keeper Park. An outstanding tackle by Hanari Wells. Put his body on the line and stopped a certain try. Now, Kibra Park need to just hang on to this one now as we move into the final 10 minutes of this game. See, so Nari Wells there, put his body in the line, stopped a certain try. A great effort. Here they go once again. Through the number 11, Ignatius Parsi. And now out of dummy half. Once again, it comes out to big Benny Murdoch. Murdoch's going to be pulled down. Yeah, he scored a try earlier. Big and strong, but very mobile. And there is the kick downfield from Torea. Gillies takes it on the full 15 out from his own uh, line. Getting a little dark here at uh, ANZ Stadium in Sydney. Very dusky. As we go inside the final nine minutes of this game. Kai comes onto the field for Endeavour. Has a run out of dummy half. Straight into Ropati. Who pulls him down just short of the halfway line. Still 16-10. The winner, if you've just joined us. Plays Matraville Sports High in the Arrival Live Cup final. Arsin to Weller to Fager. The ball's been intercepted by White. He's still going. He looks for support and finds Murdoch. Taken by King. He'll get up and play it back quickly. Only 30 metres out. And then it comes back across now to Barty in the number 13. This is where Kahu has got to inject himself. Matty Beto in a dummy half. Got a pass away out to Isaac Louis. Five metres out from the Endeavour line. This could be the match winner. Beto out of dummy half once again. A long ball back for Torea. Torea runs into Cameron King. Flicks it back now to uh, Akawola. Akawola's still going. Tried to reach out and pull down a couple of metres short of the uh, Endeavour line. Scrambling defence is what they need. As the ball comes across the white. Awful pass. He knocks it on Joe. You hate to say it, but gee, fair dinkum that was a shocking pass. Yeah, disappointing there with Beto. Uh, unfortunately, the ball goes to ground and... And Danny White, even the player he is, he couldn't pick it up. But Beto, we'd like to have this ball again. He's been strong today, Beto. He's been strong at a dummy half. But unfortunately, late in the game with fatigue setting in, those errors come out. There he is, Danny, Danny White. White, the innocent. He felt like that could have been the game then. But I've been impressed with Danny White. He's just got something. He just, he just looks like a football. You do get the feeling that uh, if... Uh, if they get down here again, Keeper Park, they might look at the field goal because there are only a converted try as we go into the final seven minutes of the game. And Cameron King slips into dummy half. The number five for Endeavour. Michael Kai comes into this game late, but we've got a Come knock out. on. Now, this is Keeper's hit, chance here, Joe. Yeah, the, the big error there by Endeavour. And you Keep look who was in the tackle, Danny White. 
just seems like he's everywhere this afternoon in the tackle you see strong contact on the ball there in the error in Kubra Park they get their opportunity if they don't score here they've got to think field goal there it is much better stuff good defense there though from Nicholas who read that well Wells moves into dummy half taken in a good tackle again by Nicholas tackle two he knows it's desperation time Beto slips into dummy half oh there's some of the hits on at the moment here Ferrero takes it forward gets up the player back once again Beto finds another big man and uh, here he goes big Benny Murdoch he's only 10 meters out he gets up and goes again Five metres out by the time they pull him up. Beto out of dummy half. Again, great defence there from Wishart for the Endeavour side. And tackle five, they're only about a half a metre out. Now the fullback car who moves in, gets it away to White. Does he get the ball down over the line? The referee short, says, you're just advancing well, the double there. movement, Joe. Yeah, he decided to, to run the ball in the last. Denny White, you can't knock him for having a shot. The combination of Carhu and Denny White just took the ball and pinged there for a double movement. Didn't he run strong? Some of the hits, though, late in this game. Unbelievable. Desperate defence from the Endeavour boys. They're not going to give up. Cameron King takes it forward. And Rococo slips into dummy half. He has tubs with him. Won't use him. Taken by Big Fatawaka and pulled down just inside Endeavour territory. King once again. This time he finds Tubbs. By golly, he's a big boy. Gets a pass away to Capel. Capel's pulled for, for Manuma Lely, who's pulled down. 15 metres inside keeper territory. A converted try in it. The winner to move into the final. Now it comes out for Arsim, who gets the ball away to Tubbs. No support with him. He's pulled down. 20 metres out from the keeper line. Capable out of dummy half once again. Finds a couple of sneaky yards. Tuella to Fega. Back for Tubbs once again. And Tubbs is going to be pulled down. Tackle five, but they're only five metres out. Now, King moves into dummy half. Across it comes for Capel. Then for Manuma Lady. Then it comes out for uh, Rococo. The ball has come loose. You might play a knock on here to Kiva. They will. Six tackles again for Endeavour. It's going to be a scrum. 16 points to 10. Kiva over Endeavour. Second semi final of the Arrival Live Cup. Let it go. Up here, here. Just up there. Up there. Let's go, Kibra. Heads in, lock in. So we get underway again. A fresh set of six for the Endeavour boys. Gillies with the ball. Gillies straight up toward Kahu and White. And they'll stop him nine metres out, but a whole heap of tackles up their sleeve, Endeavour. Out of dummy half, King goes on his own, now looks for support. Gets it away to Capel. Capel tries to straighten, Beto pulls him down. Got to construct Lailua. They need him with the ball in the hands. Here's King now. Again for Manuma Laley. Great defence there. Who do you think it'll be? Of course, it's Danny White. Does the work of ten men. This is Nicholas. And he turns it back for Arsin. Arsin's going to be taken by Beto, who is there. So too is Barty. They're only a couple of metres out with a couple of minute meter, um, tackles up their sleeve. Now Cameron King, can he reach out? Can he get the ball down? Held up. He's held ball. up. That's what it. a finish to this game. Oh, great desperation by Kubra Park. King the show and go. But Kahu holds him up. Nicholas once again for Manuma Lely, and then for Capewell, and then for Gillies. Gillies still going. Well, we've had our eye on the game, and all of a sudden there's only three minutes left. Changeover. Tackle five. They didn't know it was the last tackle. Now Kibra Park have it. What do they do here, Joe? Just soak up the clock? Probably not the option there from Endeavour. Decide to run the play on the last play. We need to kick to the corners. We'll put the ball in goal, try to build some pressure, get another set. Kibra Park now with an opportunity to close the game out. You can see there through Manuma Laley and also Tubbs and Rococo how desperate they are to keep this keeper park side down this end of the field. The little men on the such as Beto who's getting up the player back now to talk here. And once again, uh, Torella Tafago gets over there quickly to try and stop the number 11 pass here. Just his own side of halfway for Keeper Park. A field goal would well and truly wrap this up for them. Danny White puts a kick in down to the open spaces. And the little winger, Matai Tonga, has to uh, charge back there and pick it up. Just inside his own goal, Matai Tonga. Brings it back out and pull down 15 metres out. Hard play by Danny White. He knows where they play field position. They didn't ever have to go 100 metres to score. Yeah, they just have to defend. 
Zach Rasmussen gets up to play it back. This is Capel. Capel takes it forward. We go inside the final two minutes almost of this game. There is the Endeavour coach, David Howlett. Feels like he wants to take up Smokey. Cameron King sends the ball back to Tubbs. Tubbs is going to be pulled down, is he? He always takes some stopping and always looking to get the ball away inside the final two minutes. Nicholas, short side now for Leilua. Leilua sends it back to Nicholas. Nicholas now, what's his options? He's going to have to take the tackle, and he does. About 35 metres out from the Kibra line on tackle number five. What sort of a kick have they got here? Cameron King, Manu Malayli. Will they run it on the fifth tackle? Does he know it's the fifth tackle? He's been caught again. Enjoy. Yeah, Last not the option. Out. you got to say, I don't think the communication was there. Mustn't have known it was the last play. But the Endeavour boys, they all put their hands in the air. They knew maybe that was their last opportunity. Now Cooper Park. Nowhere is this set, and the game's theirs. Napier with the ball, just short of halfway. We go inside the final minute of this game. Arrive Alive Cup second semi-final. The winner to play Matraville. Arrive Alive Cup glory, and could it be the first time to Kibra Park? They've been in the finals before, they've never come away with the silverware. But today it looks like they'll at least get there again. White gets a pass away and comes out to Tortilla, and then out to the wing. Oh, we've got a, the winger still going, the number five there. But he's going to be pulled down, Michael Pye. On tackle number five. And Benny Murdoch moves into dummy half, sends it back across now to... Fatuoka and then on to Torquia to Danny White. He goes for the field goal as he put it over. It's waved away. Well, 30 is, seconds left. Well, he is human. Danny White, he nearly laid a try on a few plays before. He had too much time there. But you see his thoughts. He's thinking the right things. He's thinking field goals. If I get seven points up, they can't boot us. But unfortunately, he skewed off the side of his boot. 20 seconds left in this game. Endeavour have to make every tackle count. 15 seconds left in this game, you better make it. Purcell slips into dummy half, has a run on his own Purcell, runs at Murdoch, Murdoch pulls him down, just his own side of halfway. King, across for Nicholas, across for Capel, there is the siren, Manu Malayli, he puts a little kick in, will it be cleaned up by a Kibra Park player? It is, and he's, that will be full time here. Kibra Park will go on and play in the Arrival Live Cup Final against the might of Matraville Sports High, and what a game that'll be. There he is, the player of the match, Danny White. Done everything today defensively in attack. His kicking game was awesome. He's the number six, Danny White. He was the key for this victory for Kibra Park today. Now can they take it one step further and win an Arrive Alive Cup final? Well, only time will tell. They'll uh, take the week with their coach, Greg Lenton. And then they will take on Matraville Sports High in the Arrival Live Cup final. If you love your schoolboy rugby league, book a seat in front of the telly. This is going to be a big match. On behalf of Joey Johns and everybody at Nine Sports, we wish you all the very best and we hope to catch you for that final. Matraville Sports High and Kibra Park. For now, have a great day.